Okay, so this is just a super quick video. I'm using my camcorder instead of my real DSLR here with microphones and everything. So, sorry if the quality is a little weird or stupid. Uh, but I've just uh, copied Linux on the Switch and I, or better said, on the micro SD card here. And all I have to do is swap out the micro SD real quick. And I just want to show off Linux uh, with a running GUI. I think it is LXDE or something. And let me try to run the exploit now. I, I've not tried this. This is the first time I'm trying the new Im improved version of Linux for the Switch. So let me go to my original machine here and let's connect the Switch. There we go. Uh, I've already done the exploit, so I've already shorted pin 10 to uh, ground uh, up here. It's super easy. You can just use a wire like this here, which I use. Uh, this goes to pin 10 and this goes to the ground inside the cooling fan, which is really neat actually and works super well. So let me run the exploit here. Uh, oh, lower I see, there we go. So it should boot now. Let me focus down here a little bit more. Oh, I forgot to run the sudo. Sudo. There we go, now it should run. Should boot up any second now, and this is a little uh, weird here. But I can disconnect it anyways already because the exploit is already. And Linux is booting as you see. So, let's see if it's actually booting or is it stuck here. Oh, nice, it's actually logging in now. And as I said, this is the first time I'm booting my Switch with Linux and the GUI. So, let's see if it actually works. There's no hard hardware acceleration as I know. It's just software. And it should hopefully come up any second now. At least uh, Linux booted successfully. It was, it was able to read the partition and everything, so... It should hopefully boot in a few seconds. Let's see. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, it's stuck on a black screen, I think. Do I have a mouse cursor? No. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice, it actually booted. <laughs> okay, so for whatever reason, my camera decided to stop recording and corrupt the SD card midway of filming. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but I basically booted into LXDE now, and I'm trying to hit cancel or reboot, but I can't really do that. Uh, let me see if uh, USB UTC adapter works already which I think it doesn't. No, there's no power. As you see, there's no LED here. So... I can't do anything here. Because I can't press on the same place twice. I can't cancel. Uh, I pressed once here. I think. No, I can't cancel that. I can't go out of this at all. Let me zoom in a little here. I can't cancel out of this. It's impossible. Like I, I'm trying to hit it, but in order for it to register a click, I have to hit it at the same exact spot two times, which I can't do in a touch screen like this. So I may have to do the exploit again, which is we're gonna simply hit the button now. Okay. So I have to do the exploit again, just turning off the system. And there we go, and now let's use my wire method, which just consists of connecting it up here, and connecting pin 10, which I probably can't really show in the video here. Maybe, there we go, uh, hopefully, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have to bend this wire a little so it is in the right direction. And simply short pin 10 in here, like, ah, uh, fuck it, just slipped out again. Let me put this here and let's do it again. There we go, now it worked, okay. So, let's connect it via USB-C again. Uh, let's turn it over so it's easier for me. Uh, let's focus on Linux here so my VM mounts the... USB device instantly. There we go. 
There we go. It's done now. Let me pull it over a little here. Oh shit. <laughs> Without dropping the camera actually. Well, let's do the exploit again. Pseudo. There we go. Now Linux should boot again. And I hope Wi Fi works now too. So, should be booting. There we go. It's booting now. I'm going to turn the camera over here again. If this tripod wouldn't be so shite. <laughs> and hopefully, I can surf to my website or something like this just to show off that everything works. There we go, it's logging in now. Uh, a few smear things here. Uh, let me just clean it. As long as the desktop environment didn't boot. There we go. Booted now. And I hope Wi Fi is working now. At least it should be no network devices available. But Bluetooth is working now, so I could connect. Uh, Bluetooth keyboard and everything. Yeah, uh, it, it detected my OnePlus reader. Uh, as is docking, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some Bluetooth device from the guy who made this. I can't hit like I. Yeah, there are no network devices available. So I can't go uh, do some Wi-Fi stuff. I can hopefully open. The menu here, no I can't either. Maybe I can connect my computer mouse to it just to see. Let's see, connect. There we go. I I seriously can't click this, like I have to double click or something. But let me try with the setup command here. Connect to human interface device, please wait. Maybe it's working now. Oh yeah, now now I have my mouse here. Like I have my Bluetooth mouse here. Awesome, so let me lay this down on the table here. And Zoom in a little on this thing, like this here, and let's see, what can I do now? Can I connect to, no, there's still no network connection available, but I can open the start menu now, let's see, graphics, image viewer, internet, still like, no, I can't, or do I have to manually set it up, like, the Wi-Fi device, because I know people said that it should work, so maybe I have to set it up manually. Let me try again here, system tools. Uh, universal access, onboard, oh there's this onboard screen keyboard I think. Yeah, there we go. And network connections, there we go, maybe I have to add it here. Yeah, okay, Wi-Fi, so I have a Wi-Fi here. Let me try and connect this off screen, of course. I think it's not actually active. Like. I've set everything here now, but it's still not working. Do you have to enable it here somewhere? I don't think so. Maybe I just have to reboot, like here. Reboot? Let's try this. It said something with reboot, but I'm not sure if that is it. Let's do nothing now. Oh, it's doing something. Is it booting into LXD again? Yeah, it's doing something. So I think Wi Fi is not working. There's something on my table here. Also, don't worry about the broken screen here, that's just a screen protector. <laughs> I dropped my phone onto this once, or twice. I dropped it once, and then on the, on the second dent here I tried it myself, and it literally took no force at all to break this thing. <laughs> and since then it's like broken like this, and I don't really care because the switch still works. And why should I bother replacing that thing? Uh, is it coming back now? Like. Hello? <laughs> there we go. Not your boot and hopefully Wi-Fi should be working, which I'm not sure. Maybe my Bluetooth mouse will reconnect again. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. And let's see. 
have a blinking cursor here, or at least I had. I think that's gonna environment this booting now. Yes, there we go. Will my Bluetooth mouse connect again? Bluetooth notification requests for always accept. There we go. Yes, there we go. Do I have network now? No, I don't. No network devices available. So, this isn't working apparently. Or maybe I have to like manually do something. Let me see here. I can't see anything here. Okay, so network doesn't seem to be working as of now. But still, Linux is running here, so let me see what I can do still. HTAP. Uh, it's like, do you have sound or something? That would be amazing. Desk obsession, what do I have here? Like, there are connections, but it's not doing anything, so. Yeah, I can't do anything here. But then again, if uh, Bluetooth is working, Wi Fi should too, because I think this the switch only has one chip for both. But I may be wrong here. What's this Gigaspot actually? Is it like. Oh, yeah, that's the guy's uh, test. The, uh, whoever made this thing here. But yeah, Wi Fi is not working. But still, uh, can I do something else here? Like graphics, image viewer. I can open this as an example. It's super fast actually for running on an SD card. Simple music player. But I think this does not yet have audio output at all. I also think there is nothing in here. Add maybe other files from folder. Font system, yeah, there's nothing here. I bet there is nothing in my home folder here. No. I could copy something on here, but I don't think the audio is working. And I don't know if Linux has like sample configurations or anything like that. But I can't find the uh, audio setup thing here. No. So, yeah, but Linux is working on the Switch, so the video is long enough already, so. I won't annoy you with the details and everything. Uh, if you want to do this yourself, I'll link something. Uh, I'll link something in the uh, description of the video, and you can try it for yourself. There's no risk in doing this. Even Nintendo can't ban you because this is not running on the Switch OS. This is running on the Tegra chip itself. It's, it's like uh, completely different from the Switch OS you boot into. Uh, yeah, completely safe. You can try it on every firmware uh, with the hardware version 1 or whatever it is. I'm not sure if it says on the sticker down here. No, it doesn't. But if you have a launch switch, which we will probably have uh, until this video releases, or ju just look at the date. Like, if you're watching this in the future, like, like one or two years, this will be obsolete anyways, because we will have something far more fancier than this. Uh, but yeah, should work on every Switch that was released till now, and have fun trying this, completely safe. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry that it wasn't the usual quality with my DSLR and everything, but I just wanted to throw this out real quick since, yeah, just to show that it works. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.